What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a very exciting video and we will be playing with the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette and this is by none other than himself, Manny MUA. Now if you guys have watched my July BoxyCharm unboxing, you would have noticed that I received this bad boy in my July BoxyCharm Premium box and I pretty much fangirled for the entire half of that video. I'm not going to fangirl in this video so you will not see that. This palette consists of 12 mattes and 6 shimmer shades. And I'm going to be giving you guys my review after creating an eyeshadow look and it's going to be a very unbiased one. So go ahead and keep on watching and let's dive right into the look. I'm taking Vibes and I'm placing it all over my eyelid, into the crease, and in the lower lash line area. Next, I'm taking Apricot and I'm placing that shade in the same areas that we placed Vibes. So we're putting that on the lid area, in the crease area, above it, as well as the lower lash line. I placed Bloom For You on the outer portion of my eye and I'm placing it on my crease and above that. That way it does not disappear into the fold. For more of a seamless look, I'm blending in the harsh edges with a fluffy brush. I'm picking up Sam, which has a soft pink shimmer with silver pinpoints. I'm placing that starting from the inner portion of my eyelid toward the center, and I'm building up the opacity by adding more layers. That way you get more of a shimmery, glittery type of effect. I took more of Sam with the flat brush, and flat brushes are my favorite since they are so versatile, but I'm adding more in the inner portion of my eye and blending it upward above the crease toward the middle of my eye. I do have slightly hooded eyes and my skin tends to fold over in certain areas, so to get into the area where my skin folds, I'm raising my brows to uncover that portion to achieve more of an incandescent glittery look. You can of course stop here for a cuter and softer look, but I'm going to intensify the look by diving back into Bloom For You. I'm adding more depth to the look by layering in some more pigment to the outer portion of my eye. I find that working with hooded eyes, it's best to work with your eyes open to pinpoint the exact location where you want the colors to lay. And furthermore, I'm then going to be connecting that shade to the lower lash line and we're going to be intensifying that too. I'm grabbing Cherry Blossom with a fluffy brush and I'm placing it above the Bloom For You shade as I want it to be more on theme with the Cherry Blossom packaging, so I'm adding a hint of pink to the look. My favorite three shades are definitely these here. And then I also like Bloom For You quite a bit. I love classic and I love these shimmer shades. There are just some similarities to some of these shades. Um, so every time I use them, I did have to kind of do um, finger swatches to make sure I'm getting the right tone. Otherwise, it'll throw off the look. I wish they took out your golden and instead included like a chocolate shimmer brown shade. There were a couple of shades in here that I would like to mention. It just tended to be a little bit more on the chalkier side, more on the powdery side, if you know what I mean. But I was able to make it work, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I really love the way that this eyeshadow look turned out. I think that it was so easy to create. And if you guys do have this eyeshadow palette, let me know what you guys think. I really love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's going to be a favorite and a staple for me. I'm going to be taking this anywhere I travel for sure because it has all of the colors that I want in here as well as a fantastic range of shimmers. But anyways, that is all from me today, you guys. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so and smash that alarm so that way you guys get notifications on my next post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of the day, you guys. Bye.